Welcome back to Jackie's Bridge Class Series, October 25th, 2013. Yesterday we began the voyage. We covered the layout of the table, the deal, and the bidding. Today we cover the mechanics of the play of the hand. Let's get started. Let's look at a sample hand. You are south. I will set you up to be south in all of the hands that we play in the classes. I'm not going to analyze the bidding in detail, but I'll go through the bidding just to see what a, a bidding sequence looks like. The dealer is your partner, so he starts the auction. He bids a club. Next hand passes. You bid a heart. Your left hand opponent overcalls one spade. Your partner jumps to three hearts. Your right hand opponent bids three spades, you bid four hearts, and it goes three passes. You win the auction at four spades. You are the declarer because you are the first person of your team to bid the denomination of the contract hearts. Even though partner bid four, you bid it first. That means that partner, North, is the dummy. He doesn't play the hand. You play both hands. Partner plays whatever you call. He's like a marionette. The opening lead. The person to the left of the declarer, which is west, places a card in the playing area to begin the play. The first card in the trick is called the lead person making the play is called the leader or opening leader in this case. You're going to lead the ace of spades. The first, for the first trick of the hand, that player is called the opening leader. And bridge rules make no restriction as to what card a player may lead. He can lead anything he wants. The dummy. After the opening leader makes his lead, Dummy, your partner places his hand face up on the table. Protocol asks the dummy to place his cards in alternating colors, as is seen, with the trump suit, if any, and the trumps are hearts, on his right, that is the declares left, and each suit is organized by rank, highest to lowest, that's what you see. The play to the first trick continues. The declarer calls for dummy to play his card. The trick. Trick consists of four cards, one from each of the players. The first person to play the leader leads the card. That would be West on the first trick. Play then continues clockwise around the table. Each player in turn plays to the trick. Bridge rules require each player to play a card from his hand of the same suit as the opening leader if he has one. But if unable to follow suit, he may play any card he chooses. As declarer, you must play a spade because you have one. Now Eve plays his spade, and you play yours. Winning the trick. At the end of each trick, one of the players won the trick. If no trump were played on the trick, the highest rank of the card of the suit led wins the trick. In this case, spades were led, hearts were not played, so the highest ranking spade wins the trick. That would be West Ace. If trumps were played to the trick, the highest ranking trump wins the trick. Continuing the play. The winner of the first trick, or any trick, collects his cards, puts it in front of him, and then leads to the start of the next trick. West won the first trick, so he leads again. He can lead any card he wants. Play continues until car cards have been led. We're going to stop at this point. He leads the king of spades. In order to understand the play of the hand, you need to understand how tricks can be won. There are three primary ways in which tricks can be won. First, 
High cards win tricks. Aces, kings, queens, and jacks. In no trump, the ten is also considered an honor. In other words, the high card of the suit led wins the trick. They're referred to as honors in bridge jargon. And the ten is considered an honor if the suit is trump. Once the honors are gone, any remaining cards in the suit can win tricks provided there are no trumps left to win those tricks. Establishing winners from long suits is called suit development. That's the second way that you can win tricks. And the third way, of course, is roughing tricks. Let's look at this hand and see how the tricks are won because there are cases of all three in this hand in question. The first trick was won by the Ace of Spades. That's an honor trick. Let's go to trick two. King of Spades is led. Dummy roughs. That's a roughing trick. For trick three, Declare decides to develop the trump suit. He leads a heart. East wins the ace. So trick three, East wins with an honor trick. Trick four, East leads a club, which goes to dummy's ace. That's an honor trick. Trick five, Declare continues to pull Trump, a heart to his king. That's an honor trick. At this point, the opponents are out of hearts. They cannot rough any tricks of yours now. So it's time to develop your second suit, the club suit. Club to the king. Trick six. King of clubs is an honor trick. But now the clubs are good. They've been established. The opponents are out of clubs and they're out of hearts. We now have four good club tricks on the board. So let's cash them out. The club suit is established. Tricks 7 through 10, we have long suit tricks. We cash the clubs. Pitching or losing diamonds. Now at this point, the club is good and the ace king of diamonds are both good. We all have, we have all winners. So you could cash the diamonds or the clubs. But I think as you'll see, we have the rest of the tricks. There's no sense playing them. So 11 through 13, let's call them long suit tricks. Whether it's trump, clubs, or diamonds, it is over. No sense playing the hand out. All in all, South made 11 tricks. He lost two aces, the ace of spades and the ace of hearts. We're going to get into scoring in class four, but for now, let's make a note that you bid four hearts and you made five, so you made an over trick. You get 30 points per trick times five, or 150 points. You also won the game bonus, which we'll talk about in a couple of classes. Well, that's about it. I would like to point out something else, if you would, as we go to the next screen. Here I'm showing you all four hands exposed. And I'd like to note the order in which Declare played. Declare decided to develop the trump suit first, which is hearts. On many hands, this is a good strategy. On some hands, it's not. On this one, it is. Why? Let's look at the entire hand and see what happened. What would happen if Declare did not go after hearts, but instead started playing clubs? Well, on the third club, the defenders would get a club trick. They might even get a second trick. You would lose at least one more trick than you had otherwise. 
So it's best in most cases to pull Trump first to develop or establish your Trump suit first. In some cases, you need to keep them. It's good unless there's a reason not to. Declare then attacked his second suit, his club suit, to develop the long suit clubs on which he pitched losers. The importance of the Trump suit cannot be overemphasized here. Notice what happened when West led spades. Without Trump being hearts, West would have established his own suit. Five, he won five spade tricks, and we could have done nothing. You will learn in future classes the meaning of a stopper. A stopper is a card that prevents the opponents from running or establishing their long suit and is critical in the management and play of the cards. How would West have fared in spades? He bid it up to three. What if he had bid four spades? How would he have done? I'm going to ask you tomorrow to answer that question. I've given you all four hands. You be ready for the answer. I'll give it to you tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to cover doubles and redoubles. Other possible calls that you can make within the auction. See you then.